The plasticizing cylinder shot capacity refers to the maximum volume of molten plastic that can be injected into a mold by a plastic injection molding machine. It represents the amount of material that the machine can process in a single injection cycle. The shot capacity of a plasticizing cylinder depends on several factors, including the size and design of the cylinder, the injection pressure, and the type of plastic being used. It is typically measured in terms of grams or ounces of plastic. Here you can see two different micro-molding cylinder assembly systems for extremely small shot volumes. To determine the shot capacity of a plasticizing cylinder, you need to consider the following. Cylinder diameter. The diameter of the plasticizing cylinder plays a significant role in determining the shot capacity. Larger diameter cylinders can hold more plastic, allowing for a higher shot capacity. On screen you can see a very small 8mm screw for micro-molding projects. Stroke length. The stroke length refers to the maximum distance the screw can travel within the cylinder. A longer stroke length allows for a larger volume of plastic to be injected into the mold, increasing the shot capacity. Injection pressure. The injection pressure applied to the plastic during the molding process affects the shot capacity. Higher injection pressures can help pack more plastic into the mold, increasing the shot capacity. Plastic type and density. Different types of plastics have different densities, which affect the shot capacity. Plastic with higher density will require more space in the cylinder, reducing the shot capacity compared to lower density plastics. It's important to note that shot capacity is not the same as the total capacity of the plasticizing cylinder. The total capacity refers to the maximum volume of the cylinder, while the shot capacity is typically a fraction of the total capacity. To determine the specific shot capacity of a plasticizing cylinder, you should consult the manufacturer's specifications for the injection molding machine or refer to the machine's documentation. Each machine will have its own limitations and capabilities, and it's essential to adhere to the manufacturer's guidelines to ensure safe and efficient operation.